Hey everybody, this is Joshua Kenny Greenwood. I am the senior pastor and the overseer here at the Empowerment Center Church, churchfreedom.org. I am also the author of this book called The Corporation Soul, Freeing America's Pulpits from the Restrictive 501c3 Laws for Churches. Today we actually got a question from a pastor. We, we actually got several questions. I'm going to go over it one at a time. And it says, uh, first off, how can we establish a legal entity like a corporation soul in a country, in, a, in another country such as India or any other country for that matter. Okay, uh, here's something really, really important. First off, uh, you, 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 the corporation soul is really meant uh, for U.S. taxpayers, okay? So if you're a citizen of another country and you are presently living in another country, then this book and the corporation soul, uh, based on this knowledge, uh, would would not pertain to you because the knowledge that's contained in this book has to deal with American law, uh, and and that is American titles to law, not a foreign country's title to law. So our tax exemption laws uh, and the authority that the Treasury Department or IRS or anybody has uh, for those type of entities really is only limited in its jurisdiction uh, to those that are underneath of that jurisdiction. Uh, and so and so it would not be relevant. Now, if you are an American citizen, if you are a citizen that lives here and you can sign documents under, you could sign the church establishment affidavit under the penalties of perjury uh, in front of a public notary, an American public notary, uh, and have multiple, uh, uh, you know, uh, signers, and then, but you want to, but what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, have a have an outreach, let's say, in India, okay? Uh, let's say you want to have an outreach in India, but your church is located here in the United States, uh, then absolutely you can have a corporation sole, uh, and, and that corporation sole can go through the applicable banking institutions within that country, uh, uh, like India or wherever you're at, uh, and, and, and it, can, it can do that, but everything will be routed here in the United States to you or wherever your missions are there in the other country. So as long as you're an American citizen uh, or uh, you're a citizen in the capacity where you can legally sign affidavits under the penalties of perjury, where you can be legally recognized to even establish a corporation sold here in the United States, then yes, uh, you, you, you can do that. Uh, but, but if you are a citizen of another country, so if you are a citizen of India uh, and you did not have access to uh, create a church establishment affidavit, you couldn't sign it in front of a, an American public notary uh, that can be verified by the Justice Department. Uh, as to the validity of your church's status, and you couldn't get a corporation sold that capacity, then it wouldn't be for you. So I hope that this helps answer your questions. Uh, if you have any other questions, I do not hesitate to leave uh, that question in the comment box or subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, because we have uh, just every single question that a pastor can ask us, if it's an original question, we're gonna post that as a video on the YouTube channel, and this is a perfect example of this in action. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you do have a question, leave it in the comment box, and we'll go ahead and we'll address your question uh, then, and we'll post it here, so make sure that you subscribe. Uh, more than anything, get the book. Uh, this Corporation Soul book will literally answer just about every conceivable question that you can even think to ask is contained inside this book, so make sure that you get the book. Uh, it's available today at corporationsoulbook.com, and even if you do not live in one of the eight states that has an active corporation soul law and you need a registered agent, uh, uh, we have solutions for all of that. It's all contained in the book. The book will give you special access to our website at churchfreedom.org where you'll be given access to an edited version where you can actually edit the church establishment affidavit and everything. It's all inside the book. You want to know how to set your church free from 501c3? You want to know how to make your church mandatorily exempted from taxation even being required to file annual informational returns? You want to not have to deal with a board of trustees or directors? Uh, you don't want to have church bylaws, any of that nonsense? Get the book, Corporation Soul, Freeing America's Pulpits from the Restrictive 501c3 uh, Laws for Churches. Thank you so much. God bless.